Knight's event is one of the biggest service periods that I've had in my career. Not only am I running Chef Keller's restaurant, I also need to outsell his menu. Two minutes. Two minutes hurt, thank you. I want to be successful. I want the restaurant to be successful. I want the menu to be successful. I don't want to fail. The menu is a little... Edgy. It's an edgy, edgy. menu. Those three gentlemen are the toughest food critics in this city. Heaven help Michael Bergen. Order in one ceviche, fry one New York steak, one chinizo, one garlic fry. I only see Chef Keller's dishes going out, and I'm starting to worry my menu's gonna fail. Order in three crab salad. Three crab salad, Chef. Nicey, nice, nicey, nice. I think this is getting a nine out of 10 right from the get-go. The salad was a little salty for me. Bite from the acid, the first yeah. thing you feel. But it's a very sophisticated dish. And, and it, it looks like it would take a lot of time to put these things together. Yeah. Four lamb on table with birdie. All medium rare. Ooh, that looks awesome. No, no, talk to me. Talk to me. That's very good. I think the lamb was cooked perfectly. Good texture, good cut. It's great. It's cooked perfectly, actually. Three lamb on table 41. Order in two crab. All right, six crab ready. Five, six lamb. There's a good vibe and there's good energy out there. The smiles ear to ear. And it was all like special dinner, special dinner, special, oh, special dessert, special dessert, special dessert. So in wait till you taste inside. It's apple cider reduction that has become caramel. That is so delicious. Oh wow. Isn't oh that God. nice? The flavor of the beer is mild and gentle. This is a big hit. Yeah. No question. Two desserts up, sir. Two desserts right here. Ready to fly. Extremely interesting. Lots of texture, a bit savory, not very sweet, the way a dessert should be. First course was very, very interesting and intelligent. I loved it. And black garlic has become one of my new favorite, my absolute favorite ingredients. We all agree the dessert was fabulous. I just thought it was the most creative and showed uh, the chef's intelligence. Could you send out about four more of these? <laughs> sure. I had three courses. I'm perfectly satisfied, you know, sated. But uh, and I'm not stuffed, so that, that's a great meal. And my mouth is still watering from uh, from the sensation of it. So to me, that's a win. Good job, Michael. Well, you Thank you Maybe very the, much. You scored the uh, panna cotta. That was a knockout, and I and I predict Hubert Keller will steal that and have it on the menu here. Well done. Right pleasure to meet you. You're a big hit. You're a big winner. Thank you. Pleasure. I feel like I am performing at a very high level, and the food that we're putting out tonight is really top notch. You can tell the room is filling up, so that's the team uh, from the Aubuchon. So I introduce you. Then I bring your chef uh, Michael over here, and then so those are. Pleasure to meet you. Really good job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My menu tonight sold so much. And it's not just the people that we invited, it was like regular diners. Pleasure to meet you. I heard you were coming in today. Oh, good. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a little surreal walking around a different dining room, especially in your Chef White's. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good job. Well, I appreciate it. We love the first course. Oh, good, good. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. I had two entrees tonight. Uh, thank no, you so much. No, host. thank you. One of the highlights I'm having is the chef from John George is having two portions of the lamb course tonight. Either we're not putting enough meat on the plate, or he really likes it. So, Michael, you really talked to the best chefs around Las Vegas tonight, right? I think you really impressed them. You talked to the best food writers we had. But I think tonight, walking along with you, introducing you to the tables, I think tonight was a success. I had some moments of self-doubt here. But after this experience, I'm going to be able to trust in my ability and to believe in what I do and what I can do. This is going to be the first of many big times for me.
the next episode of The Big Time. We don't stop. Welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. Part of racing country right here. What in the hell? Oh, wow. Winner is going to get a chance to drive against Austin Dillon, Ron Hornaday, Kevin Harvick. <laughs> I haven't been in a race car in close to five years. As long as I go fast, I got nothing to lose. I've never gotten a chance. Maybe this is it. <laughs>